Hi, my name is Jenny Martin and I am part of the 14th cohort of the Data School at the Information Lab and also one of the doctor preppers for Prep and Data, where we're going to be getting our data source from today. So there are many different ways that you can filter your data in Tableau Prep and I even realised a few more when going through the materials to record this video. So let's go ahead and talk about all the different ways that you can filter your data and maybe some of the pros and cons of each way. So if we go to the Prep and Data website, then we will be taking our data from 2019 week three. Uh, the reason we've chosen this challenge is simply because we have um, a couple of different fields here where we have a date, we have um, a number value, and we also have a string value. So that's just going to give us um, lots of different options for how we can filter that data. So let's head on over to Tableau Prep and take a look at our data that we have. So as I was saying, string, numbers and date fields so nice and useful so the first way that we can filter our data is we can click on a value and we can say keep only and you can see over here in the changes tab it has created a filter change so that's one way a very similar way to that is to click on a different value and hit exclude rather than keep only and that also will create a filter so that's a couple of different ways that we can do a filter already and that can be done with any of these values it doesn't matter on the data type we can also click this button that's always available no matter kind of whether you've selected on a calculator on a, a field itself or whether you've got no field selected at the time that filter values is always up there so you can click on that and you can write your own calculation for example if i hit name equals carl for example with a capital c of course so let's just say that that also creates a filter nice and simple so another way that we can access our filter options is if we're using our three dots and here's where the data type starts to come in to play so if I look at the filter here I'll just zoom in on that then you can see that we've got either calculation which is exactly the same as our filter values option up here where we write out our own calculation in our own uh, words and have access to all the different functions we could ever want but then we've got um, a couple of different options here which will vary by data type so if we're just focusing on string fields for now then we can do selected values and we can literally just start ticking the values that we want to keep um, or we could change that to exclude up to us really so that's a very kind of um, not very dynamic way I guess of choosing which values you're going to filter out it's very similar to the whole just selecting them and saying exclude or keep only but just in a bit more you know you can do more at once I guess so there's that option there's also a wildcard match which is quite similar really to writing a calculation because you can you know say that it has to contain an A for example and then that would you know filter out just Sophie because it doesn't contain an A for example um, very similar to writing a calculation again but a bit um, a bit I guess for beginners who aren't used to writing those calculations that's an easier interface to work with and a bit more dynamic as well than before of just selecting the values that you want to keep or exclude because it's kind of got some kind of rule going on so that's probably quite a good one to use and then finally we have our final option which is the null values option so you can either keep null values or keep non-null values so that will just keep our data cleaned up we don't have any nulls in this data set but um, if you know that your data is prone to having some nulls and you never care about those null rows then you can set this up as a filter to keep your data only having the rows that you want it to have so those are all the filter options for string fields now if we look at numeric fields then they look slightly different so we've got the calculation still, we've got the null values still. Uh, we've still got selected values too, um, because these are whole numbers, so you could just select them, as we said. But then you've also got this range of values option. So we have the, uh, you know, the additional option of being able to make it slightly more dynamic by saying, you know, values in this range, um, and you could have it, you know, only 15 to 30, for example. And then that filters out. It shows you what it's going to filter out before you hit the done, which is also a really useful feature of prep. And now finally, if we're having a look at our date fields, let's see how those filters differ. It's very much like Tableau Desktop when you're dragging different fields onto the filter shelf. 
So we've got that calculation again, we've got those null values at the bottom, we've got the selected values too, and then we've got range of dates and also relative dates. So I'll just show you that because it's the only one that's sort of a bit different. So you can anchor it to today, for example, and only have it in the last year, for example. And then we can see if we hit that, then um, we don't actually have any values there. Let's do it for the last two years then. And there we go, we get our 2019 date. Um, so that'd be useful for data sets that where maybe you're bringing in lots of months of data and maybe you only care about the most recent three months, for example. So you could set that up as a filter quite dynamically to only filter out that which you want rather than, say, selecting the individual values, which won't be dynamic when you come to it next month because you'll have to change which values are selected. So lots of different ways for you to do your filters in Tableau Prep. And I hope that was a good rundown of all of them. Please let me know if you think of any additional ways that you can filter. And I hope that you will check out our next video, which is all about sort of, we saw in that drop down the three dots there that we have our filter option. There's also a clean option and lots of different things that you can do to clean up your string values. So take a look at that too. And thank you for watching.